So this architecture depicts um, having the security console and the local scan engine, you know, within uh, the same location or within the same server, right? So you can see the NESPO security scan, NSC and NESPO security engine, right? So there's uh, a communication between the console and the engine on port uh, 4814, like um, there's an outbound communication from the console to the engine, then an inbound from uh, the, then also an inbound from the scan engine, right? To the console on port 4815, right? So that is um, the connection between the security console and the engine. So we also have a backend database PostgreSQL on port 5432, right? That stores um, uh, uh, updates, product updates, product patches, you know, and uh, reports. Uh, the scan, the scan report, you know, after a particular scan is carried out, results from the scans are stored in the backend database, right? So we can see right here where a user is able to access, you know, the console, you know, on port 780, you know, using uh, his usual browser. Yeah, we can also see that the, there's a communication between the the Rapid7 server, right, on to the uh, Rapid7 update um, platform that is hosted by Rapid7 themselves on port 80. Then you can see the support platform that's also hosted by Rapid7 on, on port 443. Yeah, so we also have different type of scans. Like we have the local scan engine, which is internal, that's used to scan internal assets. Then we have hosted scan engine, basically used to scan, uh, to carry out uh, like a remote scan. Uh, so if you want to scan your internet facing uh, servers, you know, from an external perspective, like depicting how an attacker would scan your internet facing server. So you can run an hosted scan. So when you combine both the local scan or distributed scan, right, with your hosted scan, it becomes an hybrid scan, uh, uh, an hybrid uh, scanning architecture. So they are basically three type, you know, like I said, uh, the distributed, which is used for internal scanning. We have the hosted for external facing um, assets. Then we have the combination of the distributed then the hosted, uh, which is called the hybrid, right? So also we can have an agent, the age the rapid seven uh, inside VM agent is stored on uh, AWS, hosted on AWS. So that is also where the inside platform is. Like I said, the inside platform is used to uh, manage, you know, all Rapid7 products, including the inside VM, the apps, uh, Rapid7 AppSec, Rapid7 Metasploit uh, products, and, uh, and, and incident detection and response products. So the inside platform is used to host, is a cloud-based platform that is used to host all this product and it is hosted on AWS. So is the agent. So if you want to download the agent, you have to log into, you have to first create an account for the inside platform, right? Then you link your account, um, uh, you link your uh, on-prem Rapid7 platform to, um, Server, sorry, to the ins to the cloud-based inside platform. So after successful linking, then uh, you can download agents, you know, to manage isolated systems or remote systems, so that you can scan them, and uh, um, the results will be uploaded to the inside platform. Right. So this is just a basic architecture of how the uh, inside VM. Um, solution works, right? So as you can see, the scan engine scan um, basically scan through TCP and UDP ports, check for open ports, check for services running on those ports, 
you know, and uh, check against recent patches and check if those services have certain vulnerabilities that could be exploited, you know, then it will display the results on the security console. Yeah. So if we move down, right? So you can see this is the vulnerability management lifecycle where we start with discover, you know, discovering assets within your environment. So um, with Rapid7 inside VM, you can run a scan called, uh, you know, called discovery scan to discover access with assets within um, your network. We can also integrate the Rapid7 with your um, Active Directory, right, to, to discover assets within your Active Directory, right? Then the next will be to, to prioritize assets. You can use um, filtering or you can use what we call dynamic or static asset, um, asset group. So you can um, create a dynamic asset group to filter for, for example, critical servers within your environment, right? Then you run the scan, you assess those critical servers or those servers that have certain critical um, application running on them, right? Then after the scan is done, we generate a report and based on our report, we run a remediation, scan, um, a remediation project, you know, so it's uh, a workflow that helps us um, remedy um, vulnerabilities that are discovered, then, you know, so it's a continuous process. You discover and you, you work through, uh, you, you carry out this uh, life cycle, you know, towards uh, remediating vulnerability and, you know, and you run um, the scan again to see if it has been remediated, you know, so it's just like this is a continuous process. So we have the inside VM cons uh, component. So like I said, we have the inside VM security console. We have the inside VM scan engine, right? We have the inside VM scan engine. So the security console is the management platform, you know, where you carry out orchestration, automation, you know, you configure your scanning, reporting is done, you know, viewing dashboard. So Every of the operations that we, we are seeing on the life cycle is done on the security console, right? You can carry out remediation, you know, you know, assign remediation tasks via the security console. So more like administrative and, you know, um, orchestration for, for uh, administrative and orchestration purpose. So we have the um, scan engine that actually does the scanning for us, right? So, um, the so uh, in uh, the the usual deployment of Rapid Seven has what we call the local scan engine, like, like we talked about during the uh, the architecture year, right? So, and we can also have a distributed scan engine. We can also have an hosted scan engine hosted by Rapid Seven themselves. So the scan engine is um, is is that. Um, Hmm. So it is responsible for carrying out scanning on our assets, you know, checking against uh, open ports, services running on those ports and checking if they are vulnerable or not. So, you know, that is what this, you know, this scan engine does. So you have the inside VM database, like, like I said, it's back in database, the Postgre, uh, PostgreSQL uh, on port 54, um, 32, yeah, it's a TCP port 5432 that stores um, results of the various counts. So we have the inside VM agent, right, that we talked about use deployed on assets that are not internet facing or, you know, or in isolated environment, you know, or remotely that are remote, you know, within our network, you know, so we can deploy this light with scan. Then we have what we call the Java expert system. Yes. So it's also what it does is to you can see it, see the description here. So what it does is um, it's kind it's it is designed to think like an expert, you know, like an attacker. So it's continuously feed uh, 
newly discovered information back to the um, security console, you know, so and uh, majorly help to identify more vulnerabilities, you know, so that's what it does. So the aim is to provide efficiency during scan scanning process, you know, and reduce false positive, you know, so that's what uh, the Java expert system does. Right now, so this is, these are just brief info uh, uh, about the, the various components we talked about. Centralized administration, like we said, that's what the Security Console does, is accessible via that's um, port 780 by default. It's, it's of course changeable, right? So you can see the communications that are very important to the inside VM scan engine on port 40814, right? Update Rapid 7 dot com and port 80 and the support have seven dot com right so we can we can also see the inside vm scan engine uh, the description responsible for running scan against asset just like i said right so it is managed by the console right so um, software and um, vulnerability check updates are pushed from the console right so this is basically what the inside VM scan engine does. And like I said, there are different types. You have the local, distributed, hosted. And right? these are the major different types. Local is integrated with the console, you know, majorly just doing POC, you know. Um, so also these are the required ports and necessary. Talked about that. So the inside VM using PostgreSQL. scroll. You can see um, from version 9.4 and above integrated into the console. Yeah. So, you know, it, it is actually integrated into the console, you know, so help to, to store records, you know, um, after scan. So we have the inside VM API for integration with third party, you know, majorly also used for workflow automation, right? So, Basically, these are just some of the key components. Then we talked about the agents. Like I said, it's built on AWS, you know, so it's run as a service on each of the assets that you deploy to, you know. So, um, and um, like, as you can see, it must be able to communicate using the uh, endpoint.ingress to trap 7com on port 443. So for systems that have the agents, but for what you must be enabled, right? So like I said, we talked about the inside uh, platform that is used to manage uh, Rapid7 services, inside AppSec, IDR. Then we have the inside Ops, then inside VM. Right, so it's a cloud-based platform, you know. So for our lab, guys, this is, um, this, uh, this is what we have for our lab before we go on to running the different uh, test cases that we have for this POC. So we have a gateway, which is on dot one, dot eight, dot one. We have an active directory on our internet network. We have a server. We, um, we also have a Windows server, you know, we, uh, Windows server to turn on 12 majorly used for running tests. We have a metasparable Linux um, server too. We have a 7 server, which is used to host the RAP7 app inside VM application. Then we have our endpoint systems, right? And look at the IPs too. Okay, so we'll start off running our test cases uh, one at a time. Let me go and look up you know, to start up the Rapid7 inside VM uh, server. 